Brian Finnecat, the managing director of the Rhino group of companies. The company recycles LDP and HDP polymers. The Rhino manufacturing will convert that into a range of products on the agricultural pipe, irrigation pipe, construction plastic. We also manufacture packaging materials. The dirty waste will be sorted. All sorts of foreign objects get taken out manually. It will be granulated and taken and sized down to a specific size. It would then go through a washing process. After the drying process, it would go through to extrusion, where it would be heated, extruded, filtered, and then finally pelletized into a, into a polymer, into a pellet. We can mix up to five different materials at various different percentages. And the finished products have various different additives, whether it be UV stabilizers, colorants, to, to determine whatever its, its, its function needs to be. It will automatically be loaded and blended and mixed very, very accurately uh, and then taken through to the, the particular extruder uh, automatically in plastics, certain plastics are easier to recycle than others. On polyethylenes, uh, like we recycle, unfortunately a plastic bag isn't just a plastic bag. Uh, there's mixed plastics, there can be 20 different plus polymers, and the one doesn't mix with the other. That's why we are experimenting and, and set it, setting up a plant to make products out of those mixed materials that normally would just get thrown away. We take styrene as an example, and we are converting them into lightweight concrete. If you take biodegradable plastics, which look like a normal piece of plastic, but they aren't, and you mix them with normal plastic, they'll make the normal plastic fail. I think the real importance is for people to understand separation at source is, going to, is the best thing, otherwise it loses its value. The importance of recycling is not only important for animals, but it's important for for mankind themselves because what we're doing is plastics have got a real purpose um, in many ways many people blame plastics for pollution but it's not the plastics that's at fault it's people by recycling you are reusing and by reusing you are potentially managing to reduce the cost of finished products as well but I think what's of more importance is just reusing um, the valuable re resource that we have on which is and over time will become limited.